Hey, welcome back. Before we get into the firewall videos, which by the way I've decided I'm going to divide it up into three videos. The first one will be inbound firewall rules, the second one will be outbound firewall rules, and the third one will be local firewall rules. But before we get to those, I want to talk about a little real world application and kind of where I got my start with Ubiquity several, several, several years ago. Uh, we had a facility that would be what you consider last mile. There's, you know, they barely have a phone. The infrastructure is it's not good. But a half mile away, across the road, through a bunch of trees, we we have a facility that had has DSL. <clears throat> so the plan was, hey, let's uh, let's shoot wireless over there. So uh, we had somebody come out and try it and. Worked okay in the winter time when there was no canopy on. I mean, it was still the signal was kind of eh. Um, but as soon as the the tree started budding, the connection completely failed. So I started looking at it, and that's when I came across Ubiquity's Nano Bridge M900, which is a 900 megahertz wireless point-to-point -point connection. The NBM9 is what we use. You can see it's at 900 megahertz. And it's rated for 20 plus kilometers, and it looks like looks like a satellite dish for a TV. And I use these all over the place, and I probably use them in ways that other people would look at it and go, "Wow, wow, that that works." But uh, you know, sometimes to get to the last mile, you know, when people just need a, a few megabits of internet, you know, sometimes you you got to get creative, and sometimes you know you. Um, Maybe you bend the rules a little bit, you know, of, the, of what people think the norm is for deployment. So here's the quick quick start guide, and I, I keep a set of these. I, I actually try to keep a spare everything ubiquity that I have. The only thing I don't have a spare of at this point is air fiber, and I'm knocking that that thing is going to keep uh, rocking out for us. But I do keep a set of these on the shelf just because they're so inexpensive, and I've only ever had to RMA one radio. And that was um, because it just died, and we couldn't point to any one specific cause. Uh, you can see, I mean, when these things show up, they're heavy. I mean, they they have you know you get two dishes and all the gear that goes with it. And the first time I ever put one together, it probably took me a half hour, even after following the guide, just because this is not what I was accustomed to. You know, I came from the uh, the Aeronet world so this was a, a little bit different but I will tell you that once I used this the nano bridge product I was hooked and that's kind of led me down this path and that's that's been many many years ago um, and I, I don't know what year these came out but we may have been a, a, amongst the early adopters I, I really don't know so uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is you know I tell people that I have a site connected with 900 megahertz wireless and I've got a half mile of canopy and people really don't believe me. So what I'm gonna do now is I did I did uh, capture three quick clips. One's from the main side, one is from the remote side, and then I'm doing a speed test on the computer on the remote side. Okay, here we are at our super secret government installation. Here's the side where the internet originates and you can see these big trees once I walk over here you'll see these trees just go on and on and on and on all the way there's a half a mile of this type of vegetation in between this site where the internet originates which used to be DSL by the way at a blazing two meg down half a meg up and don't yell about the wiring when you see it we did have a local telecom company that did the wiring but everything is grounded everything is shielded everything is installed properly there's just not a service loop like I like but you can see it just goes on and on and on. You can't even see the remote side. Here's the remote side. Look at that guy. He's been up there so long, there's moss growing on it. So it is definitely not a rolling stone. And we turn around, you can't, you can't see it. You cannot see the other side. There's all this vegetation all the way through. So, And your mileage may vary. Don't take this as gospel that this is going to work for you. But we do like to think outside of the box and tinker. So now we're doing a speed test from the manager's PC, and you're going to see he gets a way better speed than he's used to. So he's used to less than two megs because the DSL just sucked. So if you like the video, please subscribe. Please give a thumbs up. Please comment and share. 
and real quick let's finish this upload and you'll see there is a 4G on the other side but uh, yeah at least three four meg up but give a thumbs up subscribe comment share and we'll see you at the next video